Okay, the other thing I just realized is uh, the wind's picking up too. So I'm kind of, kind of on the lee side of this island. Um, I'm not in the best position at all. There's not a lot of great places to anchor out here. There's like basically none, um, especially uh, if I can't steer to them. So uh, I'm gonna try to get this thing fixed real quick before this wind gets nastier. Um, I'm gonna watch my position real close, make sure I don't drag anchor or something like that. I don't have, I, I didn't really set myself up to anchor for a long time. I'm gonna try to get out of here real quick. So um, I'm just gonna fix this and try to go. Teeth are for the steering system. You can see there's the, that chain goes up to the wheel. And uh, it looks like right here, this bracket, let me see if I can point to it. This bracket here has come out from here. So I think I've got to put that back and secure it. Um, I'm gonna look at this thing a little deeper, make sure that's what's going on, and then uh, make sure that it's not gonna happen again. That's the other thing. So, so look what happened. I, I turned my wheel all the way to starboard, and this thing came out. So this is obviously uh, got to be bracketed in that part right there. I can see how it's supposed to go in there. So I'm going to try to fix that and see if that doesn't uh, fix the problem. Okay. I got that uh, the bracket there. Tow boat's really busy. So uh, if I don't get this fixed, I may have to call tow boat. Did you see that move right there? So that's the rudder moving. And so I can move the rudder, I can pry it with the, I'm actually prying it with some big shears to uh, to leverage it. And if I can get that thing into position, then I'll tighten it back down. It's clamped down. It's not clamped all the way down. I'm gonna test it to make sure I don't have to spin the wheel around the other way or something like that. I'm trying to figure out how to, what the hell these damn screws do. I don't know who designed that shit, but, um, this system I do not like so uh, I'm gonna try to get it going and then if I can get to where I wanted to anchor um, which is about an hour from here I'll, uh, I'll be able to look at this in the morning let's see if it works though yeah it's starting to blow out here and uh, I don't want to be here uh, throughout the night I won't get any sleep because I'll be worried about dragging anchor I'm gonna see uh, if this wheel will spin that's one direction. I'm gonna have to go down and see what's going on when I do that. I think it's fixed. Um, I'm gonna double check it real quick and then I'm gonna start my motor and uh, get out of here. So I'll uh, update you on what happens. I made it through uh, the first bridge. These other bridges are uh, they're fixed bridges they're tall enough for me to go under and uh, one is always open unless there's a train coming let's hope there's not a train coming but uh the steering is working um i'm trying to not do any dramatic turns i'm gonna push on to my destination which is uh just outside no name harbor in cape florida and uh it's about it could be about an hour or two from here I've, that thing delayed me uh, almost two hours, so I would have pretty much been at my destination by now, but, uh, you know, I'm rolling with the punches here, so I, I think, we'll see what happens, I still have to cross the uh, commercial port here, which I'm about to do, but um, if that goes well, I'll pretty much be in uh, uh, Biscayne Bay. And uh, once I'm there, it's, I'm almost at the destination. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna play it by ear, but with the intent to uh, make it to my destination tonight. I probably won't get there until uh, around 10 o'clock, but that's okay. Uh, conditions are fair enough that uh, if I'm not at anchor. That, that I'm fine. I'm totally good uh, sailing or motoring in this weather. It's it's a nice night um, when the full moon is uh, out. 
it, it makes everything bright but it's kind of it's like partly cloudy right now so uh, I'm just gonna keep pushing on and uh, see what happens and right about then I uh, I hit the bridge and um, I didn't make any video of hitting the bridge uh, because I was kind of having a little bit of a moment um, but uh, I ended up drifting through I did hit my um, my fender rack and uh, I talk a little bit about that and I got a video of uh, what happened to the fender rack but um, yeah I basically bounced off the fenders inside the bridge um, as I was drifting I didn't have any control I couldn't then you know boats are still going around me they're still going through the bridge and uh, I'm like kind of sideways you know trying to just um, keep my bow forward um, using reverse but um, man what a <laughs> what a bummer that was so uh, you'll see here um, I stop in front of hard rock and work the problem well it looks like I'm breaking down right here in front of the hard rock cafe and uh, there's enough there's enough water to anchor I'm drifting where I want to go to um, once I get in between these two buoys I'm gonna um, give myself a little bit of power to push myself off the ICW uh, to the port side since I can only turn to the port and then uh, I'll drop an anchor there and uh, I'm gonna fix that dang thing uh, hopefully it doesn't take all night but it looks like um, I'm not probably not gonna make it down to Cape Florida tonight looks like I I'm at the hard rock sure who built this but I'm not very impressed because this piece here naturally it wants to pull that way it wants to pull out and someone thought well I'll just put this little bracket in here clamp it down it won't pull through it but that's not how those things work now this is not a permanent fix but I had this u-bolt that uh, I use on a different part of the steering that that I fixed before and uh, even if this thing should slide out, which it probably will, it won't slide out more than maybe a half inch. So um, I'll, I won't lose my steering completely. It will just, uh, it'll get a little loose and that's fine. Um, I'm gonna keep pushing forward. Um, that's been about a four hour delay. I'm awake. Uh, <laughs> I'm almost at my destination. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep pushing forward. You know, um, like I said, I'm about four hours behind schedule, but uh, I think the steering fix, it, it's this patch, we'll call it, it's going to hold for now. And uh, I can address it when uh, I have access to a, a good hardware store and, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So uh, for now, I think it's going to hold. I'm going to try it one more time. Uh, it's totally sucked having a break coming through that second bridge. Um, I kind of bumped the fenders a little bit. Luckily, it wasn't a drawbridge, uh, and I wasn't, you know, holding up a whole line of people. So I got lucky on that one. You know, I I bought an old boat, so um, but I definitely want to make sure my steering's fixed. Um, that could have crashed into another boat could have crashed my boat into a fixed object like a bridge um so i want to i got to make sure that that don't happen my steering has to be bulletproof so uh that definitely definitely has got to get worked on it's about 45 minutes to a, a place where i can take shelter from uh this northeast wind and uh, i think that's what i'm going to do i'll be uh basically on the north part of Biscayne Bay at that point so in the morning it'll be a hop skip and a jump to where I want to be at it's not a, a perfect scenario but uh, <clears throat> you know I'll, I'll get some rest and I'll I'll look at the steering problem in the morning assess it see if uh, I can make it to my destination or maybe uh, locate some hardware stores or West Marine or something like that. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at with it. So 
I can see the bridge. I got to go under from here. It's not that far. Uh, there is good wind. I can sail. I probably will sail. So um, I'm going to motor out of here to get the um, anchor unhooked and uh, turned around. And then I'm going to pop my sail. Then we're going to we're going to sail out of here. All right, I'm taking it easy on the steering right now. I'm actually motoring at low speeds, testing it out. It seems to be working okay. Also, it seems like my wheel now lines up in a different place, but uh, you know, I'll look at all that in the daytime. Uh, right now, conditions are good. Probably a eight, nine knot breeze. The water's pretty calm, not choppy like it was earlier. Um, it's kind of calmed down a little bit, which is good. And I am leaving Miami behind. Anyway, uh, oh, it's been a long day. I uh, got a lot to think about as far as uh, what happened and the potential for disaster or catastrophe and um, you know how I can mitigate that I need to look at the steering system and, and see where I think it's gonna fail and then uh, you know either reinforce it or redesign it or buy some new parts or something but uh, definitely got to take care of that nice night to be out on the water though now that I'm not having a crisis you know Anyways, uh, I'm going to get back to navigating, and uh, I'll see you, see you in the next clip. Well, I've cut the motors, and we're sailing. So, oh, what a relief. I'll tell you what, every time I cut those motors, and the wind fills the sails, I just feel a, a huge sense of relief. are making our way south on a heading of about 165 we're gonna go through the I think it's the MacArthur Causeway and then um, I think there we're gonna head west a little bit to find an anchorage and uh, rest until morning so you know I'll tell you what uh, uh, on nights like tonight, I, uh, man, I get, I get anxious and frustrated and, you know, and then, uh, you have these moments like these where, uh, you're out on the water, it's you, the water and the wind, it's pretty cool, you know, especially at night. I don't know why, I just, uh, I like sailing at night, you know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to navigating and uh, see you again. I made it to my anchorage. Uh, it's pretty good. I got real close to the shore on the lee side. So what that means is basically when the wind's blowing, um, there's, there's not enough room on the water to start making real waves. Um, you know, because the land is maybe a couple hundred yards from here maybe yeah 200 yards so uh, even if the wind starts blowing real hard I'm not gonna see a lot of uh, big waves as long as the wind comes from the northeast if the wind were to shift I'd be in a real bad spot so but the wind's supposed to stay blowing from the northeast for the rest of the night and uh, yeah I'm here super stoked uh, just kind of, <laughs> kind of a hectic day you know but uh, here I am I'm gonna have a beer and relax a little bit um, look at the steering all right this is something that actually has happened a few times to me look at my anchor it's snagged on a line I don't know what the line does, what it's for. It's a rope, and uh, I'm hooked on it. So I'm gonna figure out how to get unhooked from this thing. 
This game bay, baby. <laughs> okay, we're out here. Uh, I got the autopilot on, and uh, I, I actually I can trust it out here because uh, you know, like I said, everybody's real spread out out here. Um, it seems to be doing fine, keeping me generally at a heading of about 200. And uh, yeah, the wind is great. I got the jib up and uh, the mizzen. I still haven't put the main up. Um, just don't really need it, I don't think. You know, it's like it's more of a hassle to put up than <laughs> than it's worth because uh, we're already making uh, almost five knots, uh, and uh, everything's going good. So here we go. Just a beautiful day to be on the water. People anchored out there over at No Name Harbor. I can see a lighthouse. So uh, we're almost there. Well, we made it to No Name Harbor. Oh, someone's out flying their drone. I guess uh, that's a good idea, huh? So anyway, uh, we're here and there's the entrance to the harbor. I'm gonna take my dinghy in and scout it before I take, uh, take Starship in. If I do, uh, it looks, I see a lot of like jet, jet ski boats and, or not jet ski boats, but like wakeboard boats and like kite, bo kite boats and all that stuff. So I, I just, uh, I want to make sure, uh, it's not too crazy in there. If I'm going to bring my boat in there, I, I would like to get some water and a pump out. Uh, I think I can stay on a, or anchor in there for 20 bucks. So we'll see, uh, we'll go see what it looks like. You know, sometimes uh, people talk about living in the now. And sometimes I have these moments, they last for like five seconds and uh, just everything in the past disappears. Nothing in the future matters. And I'm like, holy crap, I'm on a boat. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm looking out the port like, <laughs> And I'm seeing water and seagulls and clouds and I mean that's that's fucking magic I'll tell you what that's uh that's pretty amazing like moments like that it like it doesn't matter how I got here you know pretty good stuff share and subscribe. Lots more adventures coming.